Well, here we are once again uh, in the beautiful wilderness of West Virginia. Today we are in the Roaring Plains section, uh, very close to the Dolly Sods Trail. It is October the 18th, 2019, and it's a beautiful day as you can see. Um, about 46 degrees. Forecast has it getting down into uh, mid 30s, who knows with wind and all that, it may, may get down into the 20s, but we should be good for tonight. Hopefully uh, everybody stays warm and dry. No rain in the forecast, which is nice. Joining me this time, or once again, is Big Mike Pifley. And uh, Echo, as always, he's running around here somewhere. There he is, chasing deer. But uh, so we're starting, uh, starting the day out on the South Prong Trail um, here at the, again, the Roaring Plains section. And we're gonna head on down. There's a little creek down here. First, is, uh, this is our first time here, uh, both myself and Mike. So uh, this is a completely new experience for both of us. So we're just gonna learn as we go and uh, see if we can't make this an awesome weekend. Check back with you in a little bit. Well, we've made it to the uh, intersection of the South Prong Trail and the Red Creek, or I'm sorry, South Fork of the Red Creek, um, right here where the trailhead comes up out. We're gonna make uh, make camp here for the night. It's getting late, it's about uh, uh, five o'clock, maybe uh, 5.30. We got about an hour, maybe hour and a half of daylight left. Um, so probably won't get much more video tonight because we're gonna spend the rest of the night getting camp set up and uh, preparing for a cold night. So hopefully uh, all goes well, we'll see you in the morning. And. Uh, we're going to get some firewood. Mike's already doing that. He's somewhere up there. Well, we made it through the night. Uh, everything went really well. Temperatures got down into, uh, you know, probably the, the mid 30s, high 30s, somewhere in there. Um, we didn't have any, any issues at all. Um, I slept good. Echo slept good. Mike slept good. So, uh, yeah, I already had breakfast. It's about eight o'clock. Um, sun's just coming up. Should be another beautiful day. Clear skies. Um, just going to get packed up here and get walking. Plan on doing, you know, somewhere between probably 15 and 20 miles this weekend, who knows. Again, this is all new uh, territory to us, so we're just gonna explore around and uh, see what we can find and get into. Well, we're getting all packed up here, getting ready to head out uh, and do some more walking for the day. But the main question that I always get asked by everyone when I tell them I'm a backpacker is, how do you sleep? Of course, when I tell them I don't use a tent, then that always spawns more and more questions. So I figured I'd do a quick video on exactly uh, my little setup, at least the setup I had last night. Um, so I always typically will be by the fire um, most, most of the time. Um, you can see the tarp I have set up. Uh, it's set up in a lean-to style right now. Uh, sometimes I can put it in, you know, an A-frame or I can close in a side or two uh, if, I, if needed, but uh, there was no rain in the forecast and the only reason I set the tarp up uh, for this, uh, for last night was just as a windbreak. The wind is coming from this direction and uh, it just helps keep that little, little bit of breeze off of you. Um, makes for a little bit warmer night's sleep and uh, of course the fire. It's always nice to have. Um, always have the intention of keeping it going through the night, but typically sleep so good that it normally goes completely out uh, by morning, uh, and, and that's fine too. So you can see the uh, 
air mattress. That is a 16 ounce air mattress, two inches of insulation between you and the ground, two and a half inches. Um, that's really all you need is, is just a barrier between you and the, and the cold ground because it'll just suck the heat right out of you. Um, this trip I bought, brought my 40 degree or 20 degree bag. Um, it is a mummy bag, but I do not zip it up. I use it more as a quilt. Um, I will tuck my feet in the, in the foot box and then just throw it over me like a blanket. Uh, so I'll be, I sleep directly on the air mattress and then this acts as a blanket on top. Um, can go completely over my face um, if, if needed. Um, you can see Echo's little setup there. He obviously has his own coat with him, um, but he has a, uh, a section of bubble wrapped, uh, or foil backed bubble wrap, which is his insulation, and then a, an old towel. Um, last night though, it got a little chilly, and he actually scooted right in underneath of a section of the mummy bag and slept right beside me. So um, no, no issues for both of us. We kept each other warm. But that's my little setup. That's how I normally do it. Um, obviously, you're at the mercy of, you know, your campsite and of trees, uh, availability of trees and things. But um, I do not use a tent. I am wide uh, in the wide open me and mother nature and I look at the stars all night long well it's shaping up to be a beautiful day it's uh, just about noon here on um, Saturday morning and uh, been walking for about two hours covered about four miles so far and um, kind of made a little change of plans ran into a bunch of vehicles had to take a take a little forest road and walk it out for a little bit but we ended up on another little trail that uh, hopefully we'll find a campsite on but um, nice little nice little view from here don't know if you can see it from this video or not but um, absolutely gorgeous out through here really nice this is looking uh, due east uh, from the Roaring Plains trail so we're gonna see if we can't find a campsite for the night. If not, we'll just pack it out and call it an early weekend and uh, check back with you shortly. Well, it's just about uh, 2.30 here uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, made a little adjustment to our uh, original plan and ended up walking um, the South Prong Trail out the forest road um, and then taking the gas line pipeline all the way to an unmarked trail someone on the trail mentioned that it was called the Hidden Passage Trail whether they're right or not um, great view up there I think you saw the video from before uh, so from there we decided to go ahead and head out because very limited uh, views after that and we're doubling back on the South Prong Trail anyway that we'd already been on so there would be nothing new to see. Uh, if we ever come back we'll make a little bit different loop hopefully see a little bit more um, sights. I think we're spoiled by always being at Dolly Sods and spending all the time there and the scenery changes about every five minutes on the trail. So all told, it was a great weekend. We uh, probably come in somewhere around the 10 mile mark on for these, uh, you know, day and a half that we were here. And we had beautiful weather, a little cold at night, but got through it with no issues at all. And uh, got to hang out with Big Mike and my dog. So we'll uh, wrap this up. Catch you next time.